Welcome back to another video of CIE Backpack. Before we begin our today's topic, do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get further notified. Moving on to our today's topic, which is anaerobic respiration in humans and plants. The first thing we should know in this chapter is the meaning of anaerobic respiration. An means absence, while Arabic means air. So the literal meaning of anaerobic respiration is respiration in the absence of oxygen. Although oxygen is not present, we do have another electron acceptor, which is NADH. Hence, this process still uses an electron transport chain. One thing which is common between anaerobic respiration and aerobic respiration is glycolysis. Yes, glycolysis is the only step of respiration which does not require oxygen. So all the steps till the formation of pyruvate will remain same. Remember, pyruvate is the end product of glycolysis. So the start of respiration requires two ATP and a glucose molecule. At the end, glycolysis produces four ATP from four ADP, with the net result of two ATP being produced. Once the pyruvate molecule is formed, it either follows an anaerobic pathway or an aerobic pathway according to the availability of oxygen. Remember, glycolysis occurs in cytosol. So if the oxygen is present, the pyruvate molecule will diffuse into mitochondria, producing CO2 and H2O via aerobic respiration. This kind of respiration produces 34 ATP from 34 ADPs. Anaerobic respiration occurs during sternus exercise. For this, your body needs energy at a faster rate. To get this energy in the form of ATP, pyruvate molecule follows an anaerobic pathway, which is much quicker and faster. As you can see the difference between aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration, aerobic respiration releases 38 ATPs, while anaerobic respiration releases 2 ATPs, which is quite inefficient. But you need to keep one thing in your mind that anaerobic respiration only occurs in cytosol. So it will require less steps. Less steps, so less time will be consumed to compensate the required energy. So in this way, your muscle cells or your liver cells respire anaerobically whenever there is a quicker need of energy. Now let me clear the difference between homolytic and alcoholic fermentation. The mechanism of both the fermentation is quite same, but there are certain differences which you need to keep in your mind. The first and the foremost difference between both the fermentation is that in homolytic fermentation, lactate is being produced, while in alcoholic fermentation, ethanol is being produced. We all know that ethanol cannot be produced in human body, so alcoholic fermentation either occurs in yeast cells or plant cells, while homolytic fermentation occurs in animals or higher vertebrates. So the other point of difference is that homolytic fermentation is mainly known as one-step reaction, while alcoholic fermentation is known as two-step reaction. I have mentioned it above that alcoholic fermentation does not occur in human body. But do you know the reason why? Alcohol dehydrogenase. Yes, alcohol dehydrogenase because this is an enzyme which is not present in human body. Moreover, this step is irreversible while homolytic fermentation requires an enzyme known as lactate dehydrogenase and that is reversible. The next thing we will cover in detail is the mechanism of both these fermentations. Starting with homolytic fermentation, which is also known as lactate formation. As discussed earlier, pyruvate is the end product of glycolysis, which will be reduced by lactate dehydrogenase. Wait a minute, at the beginning of the video we discussed about NADH, which will work as an alternate of oxygen. Here we also have another use of NADH, that is NADH is a coenzyme, which means it will work with an enzyme. And here, in this case, an enzyme is lactate dehydrogenase. So what will NADH do? Okay, so one thing is quite clear here that NADH is a reduced form of NAD. So it will oxidize back to form NAD. If there are aerobic conditions, meaning that oxygen is available, the NADH molecule is transported into mitochondria where it converts back to NAD. And this NAD plays an important role in electron transport chain. However, under anaerobic condition, when there is oxygen deficient, NADH gets back converted to NAD, but through another mechanism, which we will cover soon. Moving on, when pyruvate has been reduced to lactate, then this lactate is converted into lactic acid, which causes fatigue and oxygen debt. Now coming to the step-by-step -step mechanism of lactate formation. Step 1 is glycolysis. As it is independent of oxygen, so it remains same in both the cases of fermentation. We can easily predict that the step 2 must be around pyruvate as it is the end product of step 1. This molecule is being acted upon by an enzyme known as lactate dehydrogenase which is working with the coenzyme known as NADH. 
So the second step converts pyruvate into lactate and NADH plus into NAD plus again. Remember that the two pyruvate molecules will produce two lactate. Moving on to our last subtopic, which is alcoholic fermentation. As I have discussed just earlier, that more or less the steps are quite same. So the only difference over here is the presence of two enzymes rather than of one. First is pyruvate decarboxylase and the second enzyme is alcohol dehydrogenase. Starting over with pyruvate decarboxylase, which removes the carbon dioxide molecule from the pyruvate to yield an acetaldehyde. Then this acetaldehyde molecule is acted upon by an enzyme known as alcohol dehydrogenase, which is working within coenzyme known as NADH. In order to yield NAD plus again, we need to take off the hydrogen molecule from the NADH. This is done by an enzyme alcohol dehydrogenase, which transfers the hydrogen molecule from NADH to the acetaldehyde. Due to the gain of hydrogen ion, the acetaldehyde molecule is now converted to ethanol. So the end product of alcoholic fermentation is an NAD molecule and an ethanol. Okay, so that's it for anaerobic respiration. If you have still any doubts about NAD molecule, we will make another video for that. Till then, stay tuned and do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get further notified.